to access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. Extraocular muscles are the six muscles that control the movement of the eye. They allow your eye to move up, down, side to side, and rotate slightly. These muscles are attached to the sclera. This is the white part of your eye, and they work together for smooth, coordinated eye movements. There are six extraocular muscles per eye. There are four rectus muscles. These are superior rectus, inferior rectus, medial rectus, lateral rectus. There are two oblique muscles, superior oblique, inferior oblique. The rectus muscles are responsible for straight movement. This includes up, down, side to side. The oblique muscles are responsible for angled or rotational movement. The rectus muscles all originate from the common tendinous ring, also known as the annulus of Zinn. They insert on the sclera, the white part of the eye. Superior rectus. The origin of the superior rectus is the common tendinous ring. The insertion of the superior rectus is the superior part of the sclera. The actions of the superior rectus is that it elevates, abducts, and intorts. This means that it helps us to look up and in. Inferior rectus. The origin of the inferior rectus is the common tendinous ring. The insertion of the superior rectus is the inferior part of the sclera. The actions of the inferior rectus is that it depresses, abducts, and extorts. This means that it helps us to look down and in. Medial rectus. The origin of the medial rectus is the common tendinous ring. The insertion of the medial rectus is the medial part of the sclera. The actions of the medial rectus is that it abducts. This means it helps us to look inward. It's the most powerful inward mover. Lateral rectus. The origin of the lateral rectus is the common tendinous ring. The insertion of the lateral rectus is the lateral part of the sclera. The actions of the lateral rectus is that it abducts. This means it helps us to look outward. Obliques. Superior oblique. The origin of the superior oblique is the sphenoid bone. It goes through the trochlea and inserts on the sclera. The insertion of the superior oblique is the superior lateral part of the sclera. The actions of the superior oblique is that it intorts depresses and abducts. This means it helps us to look down and out. Inferior oblique. The origin of the inferior oblique is the maxillary bone, the anterior orbit. Then it inserts on the sclera. The insertion of the inferior oblique is the inferior lateral part of the sclera. The actions of the inferior oblique is that it extorts, elevates and abducts. This means it helps us to look up and out. The easiest way to remember the innovations for nerve supply is LR6, SO4. The lateral rectus is innervated by the sixth cranial nerve, the abducens. The superior oblique is innervated by the fourth cranial nerve, the trochlea. All the other muscles are innervated by the third cranial nerve, the ocular motor nerve. LR6, SO4. Lateral rectus is innervated by the sixth cranial nerve. Superior oblique is innervated by the fourth cranial nerve. 
and the rest are all innervated by the third cranial nerve. 